Have you ever thought about why Asian students, especially Chinese, crush math so hard? I mean, really crush it. Always the top grades in class, winners of Olympiads, solvers of problems you didn't even know existed. Well, do you think the reason is genetics, or family pressure, or strict parents and Shaolin style? Number. Let's put that cliche aside and see what's really happening behind the scenes. Because when you understand it, you can do the same thing. And we can perform in math in the best way. And this is not going to be a shallow video that says, just practice more. This is a system, a mindset, and a strategy. So it's better to take notes. First of all, the mistake most people make in learning math. Most people study math completely wrong. They flip through the textbook, highlight a few formulas, watch a video, and then say, okay, I got it. That wasn't hard, but understanding is not enough. Asian students don't just understand math, they make it part of themselves. Math becomes their second nature, something they know unconsciously. But what's their secret? Let's break it down together. Step one, forget passive learning. Asian students don't just read math, they practice obsessively. If you want to learn only one thing from this video, it's this. You don't learn math by looking at it. You learn math by doing it. What they do is this. They don't just solve one problem. They solve that same problem in three different ways. Yeah, you heard that right. One question, three methods. Now why? Because this way the concept gets locked so deeply in your brain that even if you wanted to, you couldn't forget it. Step two. Focus on the basic principles. This is very important, and many ignore it. Most students jump to cool topics like calculus or trigonometry just to feel smart. But Asian students spend weeks, even months, mastering the basics. Things like fractions, multiplication tables, long division. The simple stuff most people pass over carelessly. But the truth is, if your foundation is weak, your whole math building collapses. It's like trying to build a skyscraper on sand. And I'm sure you've heard this in school or anywhere else. In your math lessons, they say you must have a strong foundation. So instead of rushing, they build a rock-solid base. And that foundation makes everything afterward ten times easier. Now let me show you how they apply this mindset. Take the example of a quadratic equation, a common math problem. For instance, solving a quadratic equation, most students just plug it into the quadratic formula and that's it. But Asian students go beyond. Once they solve it by factoring, once with the quadratic formula, and once by completing the square. Even if the first method was enough. Now why all this extra work? Because they're not just trying to solve. They're training their brain for flexibility, adaptability, and deep mastery of math. Now we reach one of the best methods. Step 3. The Notebook Method. This one's the secret weapon few people talk about. Asian students don't write math problems on scattered pieces of paper. They use organized, dedicated notebooks. And the interesting part is this. One side of the page is for solving problems, the other side for mistakes. Yeah, you heard right, mistakes. Whenever they get something wrong, they don't just erase it and move on. They write it down and then analyze it. Why was it wrong? Was it carelessness? Then they realize, maybe I rushed here. They put the mistake under a microscope like a scientist. Because for them, a mistake isn't a failure. It's feedback and a teacher. When you think like that, you never waste an error again. Step 4. Repetition. Now you might think all this takes a lot of time. Yes, it's hard. But here's the point. They don't study more. They study smarter. Let me tell you about the power of repetition. Maybe you've heard this, don't memorize, understand. That's good advice, but in many Asian education systems, they go one step further. After understanding, they memorize. Now, what does that mean? First, they break the formula apart. They ask, where did it come from? What does it say? They don't accept it blindly. They question it curiously. And after fully understanding it, they practice it so much that it becomes automatic. That's why when they see a problem, they don't freeze, because they've already solved 10 similar ones. Their brain already knows what to do. 
Step 5. Practice Under Pressure Another tactic of theirs is timed and pressured practice. They don't practice problems randomly. They put themselves in conditions like a real exam, 15 questions, 10 minutes, and the clock ticking. Now, why do they do that? Because in a real exam, it's not just about solving. You have to do it fast and accurately under stress. So they turn practice into a game, a challenge, and that pressure makes them ready for any situation. Step 6. The Method of Teaching Others One of the strongest methods is this one. This method has the highest learning percentage in the learning pyramid. Asian students don't just study math, they teach it. To their sister, brother, classmates, or even to an imaginary student. Now why? Because when you can explain something in your own words, it means you've truly understood it. After finishing a chapter, they play the role of the teacher, explaining out loud, step by step. And while explaining, they realize, wait, I didn't get this part right. That's where real learning happens. And if you're still watching this video, great, because this is where ordinary students separate from top students. Step 7. Daily Consistency They're not the type to cram the night before the exam. No last-minute stress, no sleepless nights, no cheating. Instead, they study math every day, even if only 20 minutes. Why? Because consistency is more important than intensity. It's better to study 20 minutes a day than to study 3 hours once a week. This makes your brain rewire itself. Math becomes part of your routine. Not a threat, not an obligation, just a normal, daily thing. This is based on science, and it's very important, because it makes practicing math your identity, and you do it automatically every day. Now let's destroy a false belief. This has nothing to do with innate intelligence. It all comes down to system, structure, and mindset. One of the most powerful systems they use is called error tracking. Every time they solve a problem wrong, they write it down. Not to blame themselves, but for awareness. They make a notebook specifically for mistakes and review it page by page every week. Because when you face your mistakes, you don't repeat them again. Nothing bothers a person like seeing the same mistake repeated and they make sure it never happens again. All of this shows that success in math has nothing to do with genius, but with the right system, consistency, and a different attitude toward mistakes. So make sure you've written down these tricks, take notes, and use them, so you too can get the most out of your math lessons. And if you want to perform in learning much better and be different from most people, value your time and make the next step watching this video.